I think I once told somebody of this recipe and he thought the whole idea behind it was a bit perverted. And you know what? Maybe he's right. But personally, I think it's a super delightful soup that is not only delicious, but it's also simple to make. And today, I thought I'll show you how to make a Western African peanut soup. So let's get cooking. Right, we're gonna snibble up some vegetables and you should know the drill by now how that's done. We're gonna start off with a lovely red onion and cut it up into small pieces. Of course, we're gonna chop up three cloves of garlic, can't leave that out. And also grate some ginger, although I'm not quite sure why I did that in the first place because we're gonna throw that anyway into a blender. And last but not least, a nice sweet potato. I love sweet potatoes. They're so versatile and have such a lovely taste. I really want to make a nice sweet potato pie soon. Ooh, that's an idea. So anyway, we got all our ingredients together and we can start with the cooking. And into a pot over medium heat, cover with some nice good quality olive oil. We're gonna throw in the red onions and sweat those little rascals for about five to seven minutes. And after that, we toss the garlic cloves in and give that a quick stir for about a minute or so. And after that, we throw in the ginger and mix that in as well. That's pretty much done for that. So now we can throw in the chopped up sweet potatoes. And just cover everything in nicely, get it all coated and just let it cook for about five minutes. When we're done with that, we're gonna fill in with some water or veggie stock or whatever you want to use, about six to eight cups and just let it nicely simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes. Or until you take a piece of sweet potato and gently poke it to see if it's tender. Ah, satisfaction. So that's pretty much done. And now, blending. After that, we transfer all the goodness back into a pot and now we're gonna use some additional ingredients. We're gonna use a tablespoon of tomato paste. And of course the most important component, peanut butter. And you're gonna add a whooping big ass of that mixture and stir everything in. Try to get some peanut butter without any additives or other nonsense. Some nice smooth and creamy one does the trick. Also crunchy is pretty good. That's pretty much up to you. Now with that said, we'll add a few additional spices. A teaspoon of chili flakes, a tablespoon of brown sugar, and some freshly ground black pepper. And stir everything in. Now if the soup should be a bit too thick, you can add additional liquid to it. And guess what? We're pretty much done. We'll add some bits of peanuts in and serve it with a nice portion of whole grain rice. Now I have to admit, using peanuts as a basis for a soup is quite bizarre, but actually it's pretty much one of the 